Hi, I'm Gandalf Clark. I'm Ellen Clark. And, and we're, we're the, the Clarks. Clarks. Hello, all. Hi. Today we're going to be discussing AI. And we want to discuss this for a couple of different reasons. The first one has to do with a really, really, really cool song that just came out. Um, it's a collaboration between the band, I believe that you would call it P-N-A-U, P -N -A -U is the name of the band. And they did a collaboration with the band Empire of the Sun. I don't know if you know this, but P-N-A-U is the nephew of Elton John. Did you know that? I knew that. You told me yeah. that. Right? Um, and Elton John just recently gave his nephew carte blanche to do whatever he wants with all of his music. So um, he did a collaboration with Dua Lipa. Remember that song, Cold mm -hmm. Heart? And they had some graphics for that video that were done in animation, and it was just so beautiful. Um, if you haven't seen that video, you should really check it out. It's just, it makes your heart sing, and it just makes you so happy. How did you feel when you first saw that? Oh, I loved Cold Heart. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah, we were so addicted to that music video. It was like a whole month. We kept yeah. watching it and everything. Yeah, we, we still watch it a lot. We, we still watch it a lot. Yeah. Um, but on to what you were going to talk so about. So just recently, they came out with a song called A-E-I-O-U, and, it, and it's just such a great song but the problem with this video is they hired a company called melt ai to do the video for them yep. they added their visual representations to ai somehow and they made a video at first i didn't really realize it was ai but gandalf you said you did i saw i saw it and i was like this really looks like ai I, that, that's what my first thought is this really looks like ai yeah and then when she said it actually was ai I was yeah. like, oh, well, I guess I can spot it now. When I was first looking at the video, I was watching it on my iPad because when I when it's late at night and I'm just trying to relax, you guys know I have Crohn's disease sometimes. It's just so painful. And I just, I listen to music and I just play my game on my phone. And, you know, those of you who have this diseases, I'm sure you do the same thing, but music just really helps me. And I was just like, oh, I love this song. But the screen was small because it was on my iPad. But then when I went to play the song for Gandalf, I had it on our big, huge TV that's in the living room. And I noticed in the left corner and in the right corner, there were these, you know, telltale signs that the art belonged to someone else. You could see, um, you know, little, you could see the characters, like Asian characters, like Japanese, Korean, or Chinese yeah, I didn't characters. That part. I didn't notice um, that part. And logos within the visual. And I was like, oh my God. I don't think Elton John would be happy about this. I really don't. But we do know that PNAU is okay with it. He did a full interview. Um, he did a full interview saying that he loves AI, that he was trying to write a book, and he plugged his ideas into AI, and AI uh, spit out an entire outline for the book that he wanted to write. And I just really don't think it's a good idea to do that. Um, Look, I mean, anyone could just put an outline. I mean, putting an outline in or putting the ideas in and then having an outline spit out, that's the job of a writer. That's what we do. AI right. is trying to put us out of, out of work. Mm -hmm. Okay? You need to come up with your own outline. Even my first book, which was terrible, the first thing I did because of what I was taught in, 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 uh, in high school you always write an outline first. You write an outline first, but you have to write it yourself. You can't mm -hmm. let AI do this shit. Yeah. The thing is that the children are, when they see this, when they see the AI, they get very disengaged. I was following this news, you know, this indie newscaster, David Pakman. Um, he has a lot of interesting viewpoints, and he even doesn't say, you know, I'm completely Democrat or independent or Republican, and he likes to look at, like, all the different, you know, facts. And I was like, that's really cool. I liked his stuff, but then he put out a children's book, and the children's book had all these different styles of animated, you know, or, sorry, drawings, 
And, you know, at first I was like, what is this? What's going on? And so I immediately took to the internet. I went to Reddit. I went to Amazon and I was reading the reviews and I was reading what people wrote about it. And they were like, this is definitely AI. And when confronted about it, he said nothing, you know, and, and it's really messed up because he is gaining money on his channel. He does earn money and he could easily hire an artist. Now, my father-in-law... Um, Scott McGowan teaches, you know, remote piano lessons at home. His wife, Kathy, has worked with many indie authors to create art. And the thing that you can do with an artist is that you can do, like, a collaborative contract where you say, hey, I'll write the book, you do the art, and then together we'll split the profits. And that's really how we run mm -hmm. our company. That's how it's got to go. Um, so it doesn't matter if you have money or not. You know, you can set up a contract. And this is how, like, all of Hollywood works. We do know a lot of indie actors. And they sometimes put money into the production. Mm -hmm. And their name's going to be in the credits because they put money into the show. They want the movie to happen because... We put money into a, into a movie. And, and this movie, what was the movie called? I can't remember right now. But it has our cousin in it. It does have, a, it does have Dennis' actors, cousin in it. One of the yeah. actors in it. Um, Renee and, Galanis. Uh, um, you know... Uh, it's not ready yet. It's not it, ready It takes yet. years no. to make a but movie, It takes guys. years to make a movie. But the thing is, it, our, our name's going to be in there. We only put in like $150 or mm -hmm. something. It was a small amount. We didn't have a lot of money, but we wanted yeah. to support our cousin in this, this production, so we did what we could. Yeah, and we wanted to have our first movie credit. Mm -hmm. Because we are a production company, we, we are in the entertainment industry, and we're like, let's do this. Let's have our name on a movie. And that's how easy it can be, guys. And you don't have to have a ton of money. Um, the other thing that's making me really sad about AI is that uh, I love doing crafts. I don't know how many of you all like doing crafts, but I've been doing cross-stitch since I was like 10 years old. I've done embroidery, I've done, you know, making necklaces, I've done a whole bunch of different kinds of crafts. Um, well, during the pandemic, uh, I discovered diamond painting. This is something, you know, kind of new. And I got some pretty cheap ones on Amazon. I think they were like 15 bucks or something. Um, but you can tell they were hand drawn by an artist. You can tell, you know, but basically, um, I decided to join a Reddit um, where people were talking about diamond painting because I'm just recently getting back into it. With the pain I have in my arms and hands, I want to do something for my dexterity. I want to do something to help my arms um, with the fibromyalgia and the tennis elbow. And I just found out I have carpal tunnel. <laughs> so I'm really just trying to exercise my arms as much as possible, but um, not be always carrying this heavy phone to do it. It's too much weight, but carrying tiny little diamonds and placing them on the painting, that's no problem. Um, so when I uh, was looking at you know, I was reading the reading on Reddit, like what types of diamond paintings do people like to do? You know, I, I, I did this. I do this with cross stitch, too. I look at what, what are people working on? You know, um, the biggest company is called Diamond Art, D.A.C., Diamond Art Collective, I think is what it's called. And you can get the app and you can look at it. And there are ones that are over $100. And I was like, wow. And people are talking about how the diamonds are clear and they're square shaped and the art is really cool. And I was like, oh, there's some really cool art on here. But then I encountered this one. It was like these mice in a field. And I was like, oh, what is that? This It was AI. And I looked at it. And, and, and usually uh, for each picture, they say who the artist is. And if you like their art, then you can see like all the all the um, entries that they have for that artist. And they are showing that it was, you know, this company that uses AI, but they don't allow things that are 100 percent created by, by AI. They only allow things that are hand edited by AI. So I guess AI creates the original image and then they edit it. Yeah, but that's, that's still, not that's still no. art theft. Yeah, it's still art. They're still taking someone else's art and then you're editing it, and it just turns my stomach. It, and there's all of these other companies out there like Timu and Sheen and and all of that. They're stealing people's art to make clothing. They're stealing people's designs to make 
everything. And it's slave labor, it's children yep. labor, the people are not getting good wages, you know, people are getting forced to be in factories and everything. Um, I know that we're all really poor right now, okay? Like, pre-pandemic, Gandalf and I, we made, what, 100000 total or more a Between year? Between the two of us, we made, we made close to 100000 a year. Yeah, close to. We weren't doing awful. I mean, we don't have kids. We just have but cats. you had just started a job with only that only you were only there for four days before it shut down. Yeah. Because of the pandemic. We weren't so. doing bad before my health went south. Before, you know, all of that and, and the pandemic and, and, and things getting worse. But, you know, there is no way in hell that I am ordering from Timu or Sheen or any of that stuff where it's slave labor. Um, and when we order from things like Amazon, we have to go and look who who is selling this, you know. Who, who, who are the companies that are selling on here? You know, because Amazon is one of the main um, companies. And you're really not legit unless you are on Amazon. I mean, that's one thing that we have to face as publishers, unfortunately. It, it does leave a sour taste in your mouth that we have to be on there. Well, and we use them for everything. I mean, we, we, we get most of our supplies there. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's really, it's, it's crazy, but they're like a monopoly at this point. Mm-hmm. And we have a family account that we share with our family because we all need need to do it. Um, but we must stand up for the Amazon workers. We yeah. must stand up for artists. And there are good uses for AI, okay? We have friends in the medical field who use it for people who have disabilities. And that's a really great thing to use AI for is to help mm-hmm. people with disabilities. Another thing to use AI for is just comedy. That's great use of AI. You can definitely use that for for comedy. The problem is, right now, because people are using AI so much, it's taking a lot of the data center's energy to use AI. So they're having to build more data centers. And that's really a drain on our our system. Yeah, but the thing is, there's always going to be more and more data centers until the entire planet is data centers. I mean, seriously, there, there, there's always reasons. If it wasn't AI, it'd be it, it'd be Bitcoin or it'd be something yeah. else. I mean, it's just Emma playing with a, pla- a paper bag. She finds them no matter where she is. She's a little paper yeah. bag whore. Um, yeah, so that's what I wanted to say about AI. And um, the, the last thing I wanted to say, say about AI is we do have some friends who are photographers who have used AI. And I just, I have major concern for them because yeah. that means once they put those uh, pieces of art into AI... They can be used anywhere by anyone. Right. So they just have to know that. They have to know their art, their images, and all the models that are in the pictures, all of the people that are in those pictures, um, and all the toys, characters, whatever's in the image is going to be... Well, toys, are, toys aren't, aren't owned by... I mean, toy, toy companies, yes, own the rights. Like, Hasbro owns the rights to G.I. Joe. Mm-hmm. But the thing is that anyone can take pictures of G.I. Joe and publish them somewhere. So, really, they're public domain. I mean, they're not... <laughs> they're G.I. Not Joe public isn't public domain. domain. But I'm saying pictures of them are pretty much... Like, if someone takes, takes photos, they put them in Facebook groups, that's almost like... But they can't make money from them. No, they them. can't make money from it, no. I'm not but what's that. wrong is that this company... The Diamond Art Company is making money off of that. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a problem because they're taking images from the internet that do not belong to them, and they are making mm-hmm. them into diamond paintings, and they're selling them for the highest amount, <coughs> like $100 or more for these paintings. Like, okay, you didn't create this picture, and now you're turning it into something that you're going to sell, okay, that is... Illegal. That's, that should be a hundred percent illegal. Yeah, that's why, and that's why the actors. I mean, that's why the actors and the writers uh, did the strikes mm-hmm. last year because, you know, people the companies wanted to use AI for their images and mm-hmm. and uh, I mean, if you look at the the Flash movie, which was fucking terrible. Mm-hmm. Okay, I mean, it was funny, but I really don't think a Flash movie should be funny. I mean, if you think about the series, the Flash series was so much better. But anyway. Um, I can get into that in another video, but uh, 
what I'm talking about is, you know, they used AI to have Christopher Reeve and Helen Slater playing Superman and Supergirl together. Mm-hmm. They in 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 a in, a, in a, a cameo. They used AI to create Nicolas Cage's Superman from the fa- the failed uh, Superman Lives uh, movie. Okay, like. They didn't consult these people. They didn't get the rights to this stuff. They just used it. And that's why the writers were striking for so long. They wanted to protect their images and everything, you know. <sighs> if someone dies and you use their image for something, their family should get money. Mm-hmm. Exactly. And so those are the things that we want everyone to consider, and that's why we did this video about AI. So everybody take care and let us know what you think about the AI surge. Yep.